Dr. Akiva Gamno-Belk, Dean of Jewish Studies at B'nai Noach Torah Institute, LLC. Welcome to Reshit Lamud Hey. Yes, it's Genesis chapter 5 study. <laughs> Thank you. Dear ones, when we look at chapter 5, verse 1, the very last word is Oto. Oto means them. I'll concentrate on this for just a minute as our purpose is to establish that Adam and Chava are equal. Now you can see we're going to be using the textbook, the Gematria and Mysticism in Genesis. We're not going to be uh, including as many notes in the future because the purpose of having the book is for you to purchase it and to use it as a textbook. And so we're going to be using fewer notes. Now, we recognize this is the book of generations of Adam, which we're talking singular. In the day God created Adam, singular, with spirit with his spirit with his spiritual likeness. Um, God made them. Now, the last word is O to them. So what we're saying is that on day six, when God formed Adam out of the dust of the ground, that God made a body. Now, that body had some uniqueness to it that you're not going to see in today's bodies, for the most part. Uh, in verse 2, we read the very first two words, Zikar une kev. Zikar ne keva. So when we talk about Nekeva, we're talking about that part of a lady that is the cave, the sexual organ that is like a cave. And we're talking about Zakar, we're talking about the sexual organ of a man that protrudes. So, dear ones, what we're seeing here at the beginning of Genesis chapter 5 is also discussed in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, and verse 27. And so what we have when we uh, review these uh, four passages, these four verses, okay, is that um, one side of Adam is uh, the masculine side, and one side of Adam, the Adam, is the female side. So uh, originally, um, when HaTorah speaks of God breathed into Adam, um, it does not say Adam. But when HaTorah uh, is speaking of the Adam, HaAdam, uh, that is the um, Let's do it right here. That is Hey, Olive, Dalin, Final Mem. Okay, this is the Ha Adam. And when it's only Adam, it's sing singular. It's, it's speaking uh, basically of Adam. But when it's Ha Adam, it's speaking of that body that God crafted that had male a side and a female side. So one side is the male side, one side is the female side. And when the uh, Bible says God separated them, um, the Bible does not say that God took a rib. That is uh, some kind of teaching from another religion. It's not from Judaism. Um, what it says is God separated the side. So when uh, God divided them, this would be each of their back sides. And this is what HaTorah is referring to. Now, in a book that is going to be entitled perhaps um, 
how does God uh, uh, review sin or how does God consider sin, uh, which will be a mitzvah Shem coming out very soon. It should be published in the next two or three weeks. Um, we, we're still working on the title. Um, the, the point is, is we discuss this in a great deal more length and we go into examples. But the, the point is, is that in Genesis 1.26, both Adam and Eve were present in one and the same body, okay? And um, so when we see God saying that he took Ha-Adam and placed him in the garden, we recognize uh, that that was both Adam and Eve. And we see the uh, scripture say uh, to guard and to keep it, uh, that meant that Adam the man and Adam the woman had a responsibility to both guard and keep the garden. When we see that God uh, brought the animals and the birds of the air and all the beings that were created, including the serpent, okay, and that Ha'adam named them, and whatever uh, he called them, that was their name, we see that it was the male Adam and the female Adam in one body that named them. And then when we recognize that God said, um, it is not good for Ha'adam to be alone, then uh, he caused the rest to come upon the two of them. And then God uh, miraculously uh, separated them. And uh, up until that point, they had received the instruction of God together. The, uh, all the creation was done together. They are created exactly at the same time. So we're talking about equality here. And we're explaining that from the very beginning, there has been equality. Now, uh, unfortunately, um, there, there were some things that happened um, after creation. Of course, one was the sin. And so uh, we recognize that there's some text, which we're not going to go into in this discussion, that uh, has to do with questioning whether or not there is equality. But when God created the world, and he created Adam and Kava, and one body, then he separated them, uh, there was certainly the intent that uh, the man and the woman would be equal. Thank you for joining me for Parishi Amun.